Lads, it's a new season of Apex Legends, and that means a new hero, map changes, but most significantly is the return of the solo mode? So I'm coming day and night. Way back in the past of Apex Legends, there was a solo mode, nearly five years ago at this point, but they've brought it back once again, and you know we gotta get in there and get a solo victory. But the path to that victory was not so easy. This video is quite a journey, so we're gonna get on into it. Comment down below how you're feeling about this current season of Apex Legends if you play it. Will you be trying out this solo mode? And of course, if you watch from my Fortnite videos, use code SOURHARD on the item shop. Oh my god, and this is Broken Moon too. I really don't know about this map. So this is like total blind flying, guys. Consider that. Light means high loot. So let's go over here. Let's keep it a little hot, but this place isn't so tall that you can't control it. She has no verticality, and her movement is really like about battle. Nothing like Octane, nothing like Valkyrie. So we do have to be a little bit more conservative in how we take fights. A feature of this solo mode is that the weapons come pre-kitted. Though you can put other things on them. Like you can go around and get other sites. I think that's about the only other thing that's going to be on the map is different sites. It's going to make the loot pool a bit easier to work with, I think. All right, yeah, you have a respawn, and it's active until about third circle. So that was somebody. Interesting. I gotta remember that sound. That sound didn't sound like a person. A little hole here. We'll get a heal. If you don't get, if you don't have to use your respawn before third circle, then it will contribute to your Evo shield. But to me, that's not that important. If you're out there getting aggressive, you're Wow, <laughs> this is actually a loot drop. So we're gonna go right for this. Okay, you do spawn back in with your weapons. That's good to know. Ah. Large Evo cash, okay. Ooh, charge. Charge works different though. I don't know if I want that. Just cause I'm on controller. Tell you right now, I don't play this game enough. We gotta, we gotta warm back up. We gotta get back in the vibe. So I'm gonna choose the easy weapons. And those are the light ammo weapons. What is this? Upgrade? Enemy recon after exiting tack? Picked an upgrade to give that seems a bit better. Okay, so there's like a perk system now. Is that something that's in the entirety of Apex Legends? I didn't hit those. Bullet velocity was a little bit higher than I compensated for. Okay, so the health is healing automatically too. That's great. You really only got to worry about your shields. I want to use my power here. This is exactly what my power is for, but he's gotten the full heal. I'm actually not going to contend him here. I'm going to move up and out. It's actually a decent hill. We got 20 seconds though. We gotta move very far. I think I just have to abandon this fight. Apex Legends, the storm has a bit more consequence. In Fortnite, you could you could storm camp until like six circle if you have some med kits. I need to get my ass up against this wall. There is gonna be a crunch right here, for sure. I need a little bit more shield. He didn't drop any sort of death box though, which tripped me up. Maybe he was just out of loot, but or maybe we just need to be more aware of our own inventory. Maybe there just isn't death boxes in this. Not ideal, I gotta move. Damn, dude. That thing like stuttered me. I forgot that was a thing. Oh, try again. Literally just took him by surprise right there. He didn't know what to do.
play a little bit wider. You know what? We can't we can't even afford to be fighting like out here, bro. This is dumb. We just need to be in circle. Even trying to fight out of circle is just getting us killed. This shotgun has the iffy damage, bro. That's why I do prefer the Mastiff. Let's me be a little sloppier. Solid shadow. It's really a question of where next circle pulls right now. Right when the respawn token disabled, too. Wow, poor dude. Gonna take position on him early. We need to back up. This is a bit too obvious. So I can actually grab high ground here in a roundabout fashion. What I need to do is go here, shoot it upward, and then jump. So you can take high ground, but you need an interior. She's a bit different in how she does it. Next ring is far. This is what I'm saying. If you ugh, so much running from the storm. I would love to get in that fight, but I would need an extra 60 seconds to do that. Eventually. That's what I mean by redeploy, bro. This circle is so small for 12 players of Apex. I'm not griping about the mechanic. But unless he came from there, I don't think he did. I think he just redeployed into the game, respawned. No! I did not mean to fall. God. We're lucky though. Can actually just use this to go over and there's a building in storm. That guy made me turn it up, and I had to deliver right there. Good thing I'm like the Giorno, you know? I can go through using my portal. Let's go, baby. Let's go sink that solo dub with Alter. Let's go. And that wasn't a bad game either. We just needed the right map, man.
After we killed that Octane, bro, I was like, there's no way any other player in this lobby is that good. I was definitely the best player in that lobby. Not the most impressive solo dub, but hey, we can say we got the solo dub in the new season with the new character. At this point, I need to look at how long solo mode is gonna be in here because I would like to try to get a solo win with every single character in Apex Legends. I think Alter was probably one of the more difficult of this challenge because she doesn't really get any weapon bonuses, she doesn't really have movement, and she doesn't have recon powers at all. So the only thing she can really do is get tricky with the walls, which is beautiful. I did that right there and it played exactly how I needed it to play out. 